Hello laser Gerbiel friend, here with me I have the new line of Atomstack product released in 2022. We have the P9, that is this machine, and the P7, that is the little brother of the P9. And then we have the A10 Pro, that is the flagship model, a 400 per 400 millimeter um, engraver equipped with a 10 watt optical power laser that is the most powerful laser with diode technology we can find on the market. The same laser diode is mounted on the P9 machine while the P7 Little Brother uses a less uh, powerful laser diode 5 watt optical power instead of 10 watt optical power. Both A10 and P9 have an offline controller that allows to use the machine without being connected to the PC, while the P7 have not this type of controller. Usually I don't like to talk about design and packaging, but I would like to make an exception for Atomstar because if you buy one of the small units, you receive it in this black good looking box with the printed image of the engraver and I think that it's a good option if you want to buy this engraver for example to give it as a gift, as a present to a people who like um, woodworking, who like to do it yourself and also the design of the machine is very, is very nice uh, they are very professional, very good looking, very well finished all the plastic parts are smooth, all the metallic parts are reflective and nice color. So uh, I think that uh, Atomstack did uh, a good design and work uh, to make uh, their engraver not only powerful and functional, but also good to see and nice looking. But now let's go to see some tests of the most powerful laser module, the 10 watt of the Atomstack A10 Pro. First test is a standard test that I did on every engraver I review. It is a cutting test of 5mm poplar plywood. Usually an engraver takes up to 6-7 passes to full cut 5mm poplar plywood. But wow, we see that the laser pass the material and exit from the other side after the first pass, so I think it needs two, no, not two, but I think that uh, just three passes is enough for the Atomstack A10. Wow, wow, that's incredible. Uh, less than 30 seconds, fantastic. The cut is very clean and very fast. We see that the, the piece we have cut fit perfectly inside the hole. Second test, let's try something difficult. Uh, one centimeter thickness play wood. Well, to be honest, I don't expect too much from this test because uh, uh, one centimeter of thickness uh, is very high uh, for this kind of laser diode that uh, run out of focus uh, at about five millimeter, six millimeter deep. But we see that the performance of Atomstack looks good. After only two passes, uh, we, we reach uh, the, uh, the middle of the material and uh, each pass uh, is going uh, deeper. We are about uh, six or uh, seven millimeter deep and uh, this is the, the fourth pass. Wow! In four pass uh, we have uh, cut uh, all the centimeter I'm expecting yes here here is it the, the laser diode pass out of the material and we have we are at the fifth pass so with uh, six pass seven pass I think uh, it's able to, to cut one centimeter okay okay let's stop and let's see how it perform Okay, not a full cut, but with a little of force, yes, I was able to remove the disc. 
Ok, now an engraving test of laser GRBL logo on wood. Uh, the preview say that we need 5 minutes of work, so I speed up a little this video. Oh, it's coming out very good. What do you think about it? My opinion is that the quality is very high for this uh, A10 Atom Stack machine. 5 minutes and here is the result. And at the end, a test that I never done before. I'm trying to engrave laser GRBL on a steel blade from a cutter. And I do this test without black painting the blade, so we can see how powerful the 10 watt atom stack module is. Wow, that's incredible! I never seen something like this. Look at what quality! Wow! Well, definitely the atom stack is one of the most powerful laser I ever test. I'm so excited with this result uh, that I can uh, suggest this module to everyone. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel and activate notification for more video review like this.